In line with the federal government of Nigeria's efforts to achieving food and nutrition security, wealth creation and wealth sustainability via opportunities presented within value chains. In a bid to curb a rising fallout from the coronavirus pandemic, the Taumato Caucus Daniel plant, known as Ebieba, to the Benin people of Edo State in the south-south geopolitical zone of Nigeria, has the fullest of anticipated potentials locked up in the plant's cultivation, harvesting, usages, and marketing. This Taumato Caucus Daniel plant calls for a focus for Nigeria's agricultural prosperity. The issue of agronomy is still something that is still being investigated. Before now, so maybe in the West, people used to uh, grow it uh, consciously. But in Edo, that has never been done. You find that it goes in the wild, people just go and pick these leaves and sell. And see it as a source of income for them. Otherwise, actual cultivation is not really being practiced. We have tried as a program to begin that so that we can uh, introduce the agronomy of this plant to our farmers so that they become a source of uh, revenue. We went to try an experiment. We tried several spacing methods, including other agronomic practices. And I will find that a meter by a meter would just be good to cultivate the plant as spacing for it. You use the, the rhizomes to propagate. And because you are using the vegetative propagation, they grow fast and before you know, they feed the whole space. It is obvious that the town Matokokos Danieli is a plant. But what kind of plant? For the farmer or groups or organizations who'd want to cultivate the town Matokokos Danieli for wealth generation, Dr. Victor Ahimian, a senior research fellow of the Federal College of Forest Resources Management, Sakoba, Edo State, educates intendees. Tamato Cocos Danieli actually belongs to the family of uh, Maratiesi. It is a perennial herb. It grows in rainforests. It's an invasive species that grows very wide. It is simple to cultivate through the rhizome where you have a cut. You can see the rhizome. You cut out the rhizome and you, you just sow directly a young rhizome that is uh, coming up, trying to sprout. So by the time you cut off this rhizome and you plant directly into the soil, it will germinate and grow. Thermatococcus danieli can be cultivated through um, the seeds. This is the fruit of Thermatococcus danieli. It's a sweetening. So by the time you lick um, the sweet portion of the seeds, so you can then now sun dry and then um, use this to cultivate. Thermatococcus danieli usually grows in a very rich loamy soil. You can see the top soil is very rich. This is the only soil in the rainforest region that supports the growth and the cultivation of Tamatococcus danieli. A drive to the depths of the forests in Igweze, Emuhu, and Sakoba communities of Obia Southwest, Nwode, and Oriongo local government areas of Edo State, with harvesters of the Danieli, conveys scenarios of livelihoods and reservoirs of prospects to be gleaned off this plant. There's the learner, now learning work. Sixteen years, this is my final day, the cotton. But with the time, with crapper, 
tie this one, tie this one, tie this one. And this three, I think, you got to tie it Because this leaf, as you see, it's just like this a bit. By mistake, he caught this, something like this, piam. This one, you see, so. Just like this a bit, this one. We we'll just cut the, the finger, piam. To arrange leaf. If you arrange a fine, if you want to can uh, ripe food, very easy for you. You buy a skin, you go arrange that because that cut will tie like the hand. So we'll cut the true way. They're not going to be arranged for hand. You see the front? You see the back? No error. No dirty, no chukuju, no hole. Now I'll let this hand then cut it. Yeah. If we put anything on the no leakage, that is why we define five five one like this. And it's still wide. Time for we don't arrange them, we put them for a bag. Because when you know, sun no heat, it's not go dry. But if you dead bag, it's dead fresh. Yellow, see black. When you take a ripe rice, see who? This black one, it go, it go affect uh, rice. Even though you wash them, even though you clean them, all those dots go to appear. That is what we don't want. All those kind of we don't want. See the back, see the front. You know what? See, I like call this one. A song. One routine. Small time will start to dry. Don't be there now. Don't need this. When I go on party, I can't say somebody, they tell person to bring this, uh, our beer back home to use for the party that very day. When I look, the reduce amount to the giver to supply them, make me enter the business. 20 years now, when I they do this business, I don't want to use a trace of my children. Because when they pluck and they carry go different markets, according to the market where they do for the week, and so they run out, me and my children, to they survive. You see the fresh meat since about 10 years they come and I take the business. And you carry and go and do and data because they get more bound with data. Money did the business way well. The beer by still be like glass for fun. So now so you just the spray, they go everywhere. If you cut today, if you have five, five days you be cut and you go to see the cut. Again, Dr. Victor Agimen gives reasons why some of the broad leaves in the wild sometimes turn out like this, just as he enlightens us about the physical features of the broad leaves, which can be termed as attractive to the eyes of both harvesters and buyers, as well as prospective investors for profit making. You have insect infestation. The whole you have could be as a result of attack from grasshoppers. You have green patches who will equally be as a result of stunted growth and some other infestation. Sometimes you will have a bad soil that does not support the growth of Tamatococcus danieli, a smooth edge margin. It has a venation. This is the venation. You can see something that looks like line on the body of the leaf. And it pets you. You have a thicker line that separates the venation. The back is still the same feature you see. Yeah, looks shiny than the back side of the leaf. Dokas of Yawi, a major distributor of the Danieli broad leaves to markets within the new metropolis, shares start up tips to prospecting small scale distributors. These tips are useful guides for large scale distribution. 
The day when you go see who go cut leaf for you, you feel take like ten thousand. You feel take like thirty thousand. Go for hand. The one where you buy, the money, the money when you remain, you take and go house. Maybe you feel buy something of ten thousand, feel buy something of twenty thousand. As your luck, the one where you see market, you buy it. Sometimes now you come, you don't see anything back. You go back to house. And sometimes if you don't get money, then sell credit for you. You buy and you sell, you can't pay them. Because of money or motto, you shatter to the market, you feel 30 or 40. For we went day side before. When we reach market, we will tell the driver, say, next tomorrow we'll give you money. As money we will get for hand, now we will take bad goods. Other attributes are inherent in the value chain of this species plant, which again, serves as bins for varied agricultural prospects for prosperity post-COVID-19 in Nigeria. President has been used in southern part of the country. If it can be extended to other areas, it can be of great economic value. Internationally, we can regard this Tamotokokos Daniele as an international plan with the discovery of the Tamotin, the protein in it, that non calorie, non carbohydrate sweetener. Because presently, now with this discovery, it is engaging the attention of researchers, of pharmaceutical companies, of beverage and confectionery companies, which can be used as natural sweetener instead of the synthetic sweetener. Uncoordinated exports of this Iberia leaf has been on for a very long time because our people, especially with over 2 million Edo diaspora who are all over the world, they know the importance of this leaf. They can cultivate it there in Europe or in America, but we have to export right now, currently ongoing, in small quantities. Now, the quantities that are going out are not adequate to attract, to say, oh, we are attracting that large foreign exchange for now, which is actually in high demand. So how can we create jobs? The SMEs, the cooperatives, these are people that are closer to the grassroots, who know where they can go and pluck these leaves in the wild. They don't need to buy it, it's there. With, with us being in the rainforest, it means that it's a continuous all year round cultivation of this particular leaf. So all they need to do is to, is, is to begin to refocus on this particular leaf and see how we can help them. Tamatukukos Daniele is um, a non-timber forest species that has been contributing to the economy for a long time, but whose potential have not been fully exploited for economic development. It is a multi-purpose perennial herb that offers a wide assortment of uses with its leaves we have in the fruits, we have in the stick, and the roots, they all have uses. So from head to toe, you can see it has numerous uses, value chain. The common name, people, seems to know it for, is wrapping leaf that they use in wrapping food as well as Meats. <laughs> Not the skill, now wisdom. I know I have been before. Somebody is still teaching. So how many years ago did you say this? 
almost 17 years ago. Some of the things are sent. It is sent. Cooked rice wrapped and served in the Daniele broad leaves is a heavy enjoyment savored by these delicacies lovers across Edo State and more money for eateries popular for the Izoku service. Izoku is the beginning parlance for cooked rice served in wrapped leaves. People want it because there's a particular scent on it. They tell you, I want Izoku rice. There's a scent when you tie it, when you're eating it. The leaf smell comes into the food. The beer bar is more patronized. The leaf has its own aroma. aroma. So when you put a rice in the leaf and tie it, it's so fresh and people like it. We have been able to bring back our holiday days life, so we enjoy it. I think it's more sweeter when you eat from the leaf than when you eat from the plate. So I prefer um, white rice and stew. Because of the leaf, I like, I love the leaf and uh, the way they make it is okay. Food wrapped with the Daniele leaves stand out while showcased during events. No matter how classy, because it is special catering service which come with extra rates paid for as package niche for service rendered. Mr. Peter Steven, a nutritionist, educates on the nutritional benefits of the town Matukoko's value chain. If you want to get the best from this town Matukoko's Daniela, we should not restrict the usage only to the leaves. We should also extend it to the fruit and even to the seed. Because nutritionally, the fruit, the seeds, and the leaves are loaded with fat, with protein, with ash, with even minerals like calcium, like phosphorus, like magnesium. Not only that, it is also loaded with very powerful phytochemicals, which we call the tapping, the tapping noise. Flavor noise, alcoholize, saponin, and the tannins. Now, traditionally, also, apart from being used for wrapping of mama, eba, mala, rice, and so on, it is also used as a taste modifier for insipid pan wan or over fermented pan wan and sour food. When you use it inside pan wan, you dip it inside pan wan, the sour taste, either pan wan or any other food, the sour taste will turn to sweetness. A miyaki, a simple Benin delicacy made from overripe plantains and other condiments cooked in wrapped down matuko cost leaves, is not only a meal to be relished. This meal sounds a clarion call for it to be explored as a money spinner, especially as the wrapped Daniele leaves are its attractive selling power within Edo State. Across Nigeria, as well as encouraging abounding prospects present within the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, Nigeria is among 54 of the 55 African Union nations that signed into the AFCFTA. We learn more from Madam Esther Owen how to cook a miyake wrapped in the Ibeba leaves. The plantain, the fleshy part, mash. Plantain and palm oil. I am missing now pepper for those who want the taste of the food hot. Water to make the mist light. Salt to taste.
It's very delicious and you will like it if you taste it. And the Ebiaba leaves is used widely in Benin and in Edo too. Special flavor it adds to any dish or meal that you package it with. That makes it very delicious and special to us in Benin and Edo at large. That leaf, the Ebiaba leaf they used to tie it up. Tested the one they used to wrap rice. You just this corn delicacy, we call it a kusu in this part of the States, then this particular one that I just tested now is wow. And I must advise that the youth, you can't just keep looking for greener pasture when some things, as in some great opportunities are staring us in the face. People should harness more on these particular natural resources. No doubt, the perennial plant contributes to the economic development of several homesteads of rural communities and towns in Edo State. What factors hinder the cultivation of these plants by individuals and groups to enable improved agricultural practices which enhances data gathering vital for that anticipated policies and frameworks by Edo State Government and the Federal Government of Nigeria for encouraging returns on investment. On the overall value chain of the town Matukukos Danieli. We'll not get good road or oh, they can pass. That one will feedback the government maybe the assistance for the road. So that the business now, if you want to take a commode, it's you know, easy for you to take a commode. Go say. When you carry the farm now, now planting, when you plant and find the seed, say plant, now you will get big farm. Without support, you know if you make the farm too big. See, if government support me, I will feed you all those business. Challenges of uh, pay ticket, now where you shake, you will pay grand money. And other people will come, they will say, pay your ticket money. After all those ones, now you see, say, what you say, now you follow all those people where they collect uh, money for markets. What I want to make government do is say, as this is about the move market, we need support. Guys, what we'll make this uh, be about market go distance from uh, Yubo country, different countries? I know that there are many institutions in this regard who will take it further. You know, so it becomes uh, uh, one of the plants that farmers can be encouraged to grow. But the issue has been that uh, we need to look at the economics of it. If you grow it as a plant, what is the return on investment? That's the area we're also looking at. Because if you encourage people to, to go into a particular activity, they must, they must know the return on investment. What I've been told by farmers is that if you deliberately grow, grow the crop, the crop is low. That it's best to go, go to the wild and just pick, you know, and, uh, and, and sell. So that we are trying to test so that we don't. Uh, to do something that would not uh, be uh, uh, effective in terms of return on investment. The government, to support them, most especially on uh, accessible road, they have um, poor um, storage facilities, and to also help them um, in um, exportation of these things, because we we'll have it more in Edo. This is a business that uh, so many of our people had uh, commonalized or ignored over the years. This Ebiabe leaf is in high demand and people can earn for this and it can drive the state GDP if it is coordinated. All we are asking for is government should get involved, see how they can support the private sector and coordinate exports and Edo State will be number one so that wealth can be generated, jobs can be created, People don't need to look for white collar jobs. The jobs are right there, sitting right behind them in their backyards. And all they need to do is take advantage. Come to us, we will support them, we will train them on how to package and how to export. And we don't need to charge them for that. By and large, it is a uh, potential that we need to invest. It creates wealth for our people now, both the end users and those who go to the forest to harvest it. We all make uh, returns from it. 
but it can be bigger and it can be better. It's an eye opener, a wake up call that we need to set up a deliberate uh, machinery to ensure that our people cultivate this uh, common local preservative and packaging uh, material. This production on the multifaceted attributes of the town Matukoko Danieli as tiring presentations for the needful to be done by the appropriate authorities of Edo State and the federal government of Nigeria for the continuous sustenance of this species plant as an agricultural prospect for huge returns.